Welcome to the Design It video learning series. In this tutorial, we will be working in the standard garment styling section of the program. This time, we will be learning how to create a custom measurements database for our family and our customers. Let's select through a few windows to create a quick garment for myself. File New. I'm going to pick an adult female, a sweater, with set-in sleeves with a rounded front neckline and a rounded back neckline. OK to continue. This time I'm going to be hand knitting this. OK. My gauge is 32 stitches and 40 rows high per 10 centimeters. I'm going to enter in my, in my dial settings or needle size that I have an 8 needle size. I could put notes down here what yarns I use and who I'm knitting this for. OK to continue. I'm going to pick casual ease, which is the most common ease. I'm going to pick a standard size. We don't have anything in our custom sizes yet. We're doing that now. So we'll select standard size. I have 102 centimeters across the bust, which is 40 inches. OK. This is the last window. You can see the sweater peeking out from behind. I want to make a few changes. The nape to garment length, I don't want it to come to my waist. I want it to come to my hips. So I'm going to add 5 centimeters to this. This is 2 inches. The arm length here, I'm going to add 2.5 centimeters. That's an inch because I have long arms. My wrists, I like them a little bit looser. So I'm going to say this is going to be 19. This, that is a centimeter and a half larger for the wrist. You can see that we're in casual ease, OK to continue, and we have a garment that fits me well. The next thing to do is to say body size, edit custom sizes, and we have in here a few that come with Design It uh, Galaxy Magazine. We don't need this. I'm going to say minus. We don't need this. We don't need the relations, and we don't need this. OK, so now we have a blank custom database. I'm going to say from current. This will copy measurements and styling from the current garment shape into the displayed custom table entry. We want to do that. And it's gone ahead and it's entered in all of the information that it knows for this particular shape. So next time, let's say we need to give this a group name. And I'm going to call this family. The size is adult, female, and the name is Karen. I can make any additional changes here. You can see that we have the nape to the length at 68 that we made it change to. The wrist is 19.0 that we also made changes to. OK to continue. Now, it looks like we haven't done too much at all, but if I, if I say File New. I'm not going to save these changes. I'm going to say a sweater, set in sleeves, rounded neckline, and rounded across the back. OK. OK to hand, hand knit this. The tensions are the same. OK. The ease is the same. This time I'm going to pick custom size. And it's going to bring up for the family, for the adult females, there's one person in there now, which is Karen, with a chest size of 102 centimeters. OK to continue. And the arm length, 2.5 centimeters longer every time it remembers all this information for me. So for knitting a, a sweater that fits me over and over, that's very easy. And in fact, I can use this button here. I'm going to save this. Karen01, save. And I'm going to tell it that I want this to be a cardigan instead. OK. And now I have a cardigan. I can go up under my uh, custom measurements, and it will give me, if I had two, I could select another person. Right now, I just have one person. The second way to get this to edit custom measurements is to open up a file that already exists. And we have Mike02, this is my husband's sweater. And we've made adjustments also to his sweater so that it fits him properly. And I can just open up this file that we've already made changes to and say Edit Custom Sizes. 
and I'm going to say plus first. So now we have an empty person here ready to go. If I don't put this plus in, it'll overwrite the family, adult female Karen, and we don't want to do that. We're going to say we made this plus first, and then we're going to say from current. It's saying this will copy the measurements, and we want to do that. And this is my husband's measurements. He's also going to be family. This time it's an adult male, and the name here is Mike. Okay to continue. And I can do this for all my different sweater measurements for people. I did say at the end of this video that we would show you how to change from centimeters to inches and design it will calculate all the math for you. I need to say options, units of measurement, switch from centimeters to inches, okay. And now design it has made all of these changes, but we don't see anything happening because this is the same size that fits my husband perfectly. If I pick this button, this brings up our adjust measurements guide and you can see here for the body measurements that they have been changed into inches for you. Okay to continue. So if you're putting in a schematic from a client that is in centimeters you can easily put in her whole sets of dimensions and then if you prefer inches you can switch it to inches and vice versa. And now we have a custom size that fits us well.